Welcome back. We're joined now by Stephanie Taylor with the Alzheimer's Alliance. Thank you so much for stopping by yeah, here today. Good morning. I hear we can help you out a little bit. Yes. We have a great program called Terrific Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it's going on today. There we go. Um, and it's a day respite program. It's, it's called our day club. And um, respite just means a break for caregivers. And so the idea is kind of twofold of our day club program. Um, people that are living with dementia can come to our day club program. Um, and it gives their caregivers a break and um, we do all kinds of really fun activities we um, f have breakfast and lunch and then we play games like bingo we have just uh, arts and crafts and social interactions um, great activities for men or women and the favorite part of everyone's day is at the end of the day we have singing and dancing so a lot of caregivers will come back early um, so that they can sing and dance with their loved one that's living with dementia so it's just a wonderful um, program we've actually the Alzheimer's Alliance of Smith County has been running our day club program for 20 years um, so it's one of our longest running programs Wow so I mean, why is it important for these caregivers to get a break every once in a while? Well, the statistics say that caregivers often um, have worse health outcomes and even higher mortality than um, people who are not caregivers because you're really focusing on someone else's care and health instead of your own. And um, caring for someone 24 hours a day is, is just a really... Um, fatiguing process you know and, and a lot of caregivers just feel worn out and down and they need a break they need to take care of themselves they need to do fun things you know we have some caregivers who just go to lunch with their friends um, those are things that you and I may take for granted right. so um, having this program and having it two days a week is really important but we can't do it without our volunteers right so we're really looking for more volunteers on Thursdays that's today so if people are um, at home and watching this if they're retired and looking for a way to get involved in the community or um, maybe they work from home or are a stay-at-home parent and have some time um, that they can give we would love to have them um, again it's Tuesdays and Thursdays but we really need the most volunteers on Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and a light breakfast again lunch is included do you so need any qualifications for this you don't need any qualifications it's a really fun time what we try to do is we pair up um, a person living with dementia with a volunteer so that they're one-on-one -on -one and they just get to enjoy the day with their day club friend um, and so it's a really wonderful volunteer experience um, another way the community can help us out if they can't volunteer is we're always looking for supplies so um, hand sanitizer um, paper towels paper plates coffee we drink a lot of coffee at day club <laughs> and as you know coffee is expensive yes. so um, so we have we have a supply list we post that on Facebook and on our website so that's another great way for people to help out awesome and there's the website right there y'all if you're interested in free be sure to do that thank you so much Stephanie thank for you my